this inequality, 4a cubed, minus b cubed, plus 4c cubed, is greater than or equal to 0. Given that, for all x being real numbers, ax squared, plus bx, plus c, is greater than or equal to 0. Where, a, b and c are real numbers. From the inequality 1, we know that, a must be greater than or equal to 0. Because if a is less than 0, then as x tends towards to infinity, the quadratic expression tends to negative infinity. So there must exist some large values of x, for which the quadratic expression is negative. This contradicts to that, the quadratic expression is always non-negative, for all x being real numbers. So a must be greater than or equal to 0. We will divide the problem in two cases. a equals 0. Or a is greater than 0. If a equals 0, then inequality 1 becomes, bx plus c is greater than or equal to 0. And this holds for all x being real numbers. Then we can prove that, b must equal 0. We assume that, b does not equal 0. Substitute x equals 1, and x equals 2 in inequality 2. We have, b plus c is greater than or equal to 0. And 2b plus c is greater than or equal to 0. Subtract the first inequality from the second inequality, we have, b is greater than or equal to 0. Similarly, substitute x equals negative 1, and x equals negative 2 in inequality 2. We have, negative b plus c is greater than or equal to 0. And negative 2b plus c is greater than or equal to 0. Subtract the first inequality from the second inequality, we have, negative b is greater than or equal to 0. This implies that, b is less than or equal to 0. b is greater than or equal to 0. And b is less than or equal to 0. So b equals 0. This is a contradiction. So b can only be 0. Then inequality 2 becomes, c is greater than or equal to 0. 4a cubed, minus b cubed, plus 4c cubed, equals 4c cubed, which is greater than or equal to 0. Hence, the inequality holds, when a equals 0. If a is greater than 0, then b squared minus 4ac must be less than or equal to 0. Because otherwise, quadratic equation, ax squared, plus bx, plus c, equals 0, has two distinct roots. Therefore, there exist some values of x, for which the quadratic expression is negative. This contradicts to that, the quadratic expression, ax squared, plus bx, plus c, is greater than or equal to 0, for all x being real numbers. From b squared minus 4ac is less than or equal to 0, we have, ac is greater than or equal to b squared over 4, which is greater than 0. Because a is greater than 0, and ac is greater than or equal to 0. So c must be greater than or equal to 0. Next we consider two cases. b is less than or equal to 0, or b is greater than 0. If b is less than or equal to 0, then 4a cubed, plus 4c cubed, must be greater than or equal to 0. Which is greater than or equal to b cubed. Rearrange the inequality, we have, 4a cubed, minus b cubed, plus 4c cubed, is greater than or equal to 0. So the inequality holds, when b is less than or equal to 0. If b is greater than 0, then 4a cubed, plus 4c cubed, can be written as, 4 times a cubed plus c cubed. We know that, the arithmetic mean of a list of non-negative real numbers, is greater than or equal to, the geometric mean of the same list. So if x1 and x2 are non-negative real numbers, then x1 plus x2, must be greater than or equal to, 2 times root of, x1 times x2. By applying a mgm, a cubed, plus c cubed, is greater than or equal to, 2 times, root of, a cubed times c cubed. So 4 times, a cubed plus c cubed, is greater than or equal to, 8 times, root of, a cubed times c cubed. Which can be written as, 8 times, a c all to the power of 3 over 2. 
because AC is greater than or equal to B squared over 4. So we can now write is greater than or equal to 8 times B squared over 4 all to the power of 3 over 2, which is equal to 8 times B over 2 all cubed, which is equal to B cubed. Rearrange the inequality, we have 4A cubed minus B cubed plus 4C cubed is greater than or equal to 0. So the inequality holds when B is greater than 0. The proof is complete now.